Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Gofilo Matsela, a radio broadcaster, twin mom and just a simple gal living through this life. Thank you so much for clicking on this link and taking a moment to explore what other content is on this camera. So here we are. I thought uh, we should just jump right into the meat of things. People often ask how are the twins? So this is a way for me to uh, give a bit of an update as well as to chat to fellow moms and dads about their little ones so this is the twins 14th month update we'll be looking at some of the developmental milestones that your little one should be reaching within this period so of course I am no expert just a first-time twin mom sharing her experiences of motherhood and I decided to go to some of my favorite websites and I will link them down below in the description box never forget to check out uh, all of the details included there I decided to go onto these sites and check what they have listed as the the key milestones for your child to be achieving at this 14th mark tenure and just compare it to the behavior of the twins recently to see if indeed they are reaching these milestones i'm so glad and i'm sure that you would love to know as well so i've made a list we'll start with the first one oh my goodness can i tell you it is one of the most adorable things i have ever seen one day we went to go drop off the babies in the morning as we usually do and their teachers at their school had actually taught them something that I, I, I never noticed. So what's lovely to do with kids is that you can cue them and at this point they are quite fans of, they're big fans of mimicking, you know, behavior, adult behavior that they see, whatever it is that you may be doing. And the teacher said to them, okay, tabang. To be so blow mommy a kiss blow kiss and they started waving okay we're working on the wave it's, it's something like this then it also goes like this and tapang like blew a kiss she went Mwah! and i was so happy that was literally the highlight of my day so watching out for little things like that they should be able to wave hello and wave goodbye at this age let's talk about the milestone that every parent longs to see walking it can happen at any time so you need to be very mindful of comparing and we'll go into this a little bit later but just always look out for a range of you know months a range of age as to when your child should be doing certain things now let me tell you about little miss Tabak. she is walking she can walk a distance from our kitchen sink to the couch without assistance what you will notice with your baby as they you know get stronger uh, start crawling from the crawling then they can start uh, lifting themselves up helping themselves stand up using items like your ottomans your uh, coffee table your couches in your household some babies uh, may even use the walls and they'll do something that they call uh, that the experts call cruising so they're cruising along the couch, right? Uh, walking and using that um, bit of assistance in, in order to get around the house. Tipang is way beyond cruising now. She is definitely walking. And we saw the first signs of this once she would independently stand up without an object in front of her. So she wouldn't base it off of something in front of her. She would just stand up with her hands raised like this and kind of like, mom look at me dad look at me and she would just stand there very nervous to take her first step but i promise you once your child takes that step uh it's it's happening it's happening in a few weeks and she he or she will be running around the house very soon she's barely mastered walking and she's already trying to speed it up and get to running it's it's a mess now tepiso has been very relaxed which is somewhat in his nature i can't we can't solidify anything about their personalities just yet because i mean pfft, they're only 14 months old on this earth you know um and we'll get to discover more things about them so 
Sabiso definitely is very relaxed. He will do things in his own time. Nobody rush me and everyone just, just stand back, cool it. So he is definitely crawling. He was the second to crawl. Uh, he is cruising. He's definitely more comfortable cruising. So wherever his sister will walk to, he will crawl to. And if they want to stand and look at something on the table or try and reach for something uh, on the couch, on the TV stand. Oh my goodness, my poor TV. Please pray for me. Our TV is not mounted. It is on a TV stand. So hmm, it might go down, <laughs> but we're very, very careful about, about that. So Tsubiso is still very uh, much comfortable cruising and it's wonderful just to see the similarities and differences between the twins but they are definitely reaching their milestone. Another milestone by this age is teething. By now mom, by now dad, surely you've seen you know some little pearly whites in there getting ready, Colgate fresh, aye! <laughs> Silly. But you should be able to um, see your child's teeth that you have definitely noticed that they are teething when the temperatures change when they get a bit of a nappy rash a runny tummy and the mood is just generally very very low i mean it's a painful process teething right tabang is leading the pack she is just you know doing the absolute most i think she has about eight no six teeth up top and four in the bottom row so she is definitely has a mouthful she's ready for girls aunties uncles if you would like to send her a pair of first girls you know comment below and we will get in touch <laughs> but she looks absolutely adorable with her big full bright smile uh quite surprising to some other parents um i've heard stories of other people seeing her and say hi you know like ah so many teeth so soon it's very very cute to see now tebiso is once again very relaxed own pace own body own lifestyle ain't nobody gonna rush him and he even hides his teeth he's sitting on about i want to say three and a half so he's got two bottom teeth uh there's one incisor coming in on the left side and i think i saw one on the right side and at the back i think one of his little molars uh may be getting ready to make a debut the babies now having teeth is making meal time so fun and interesting we've been playing around with um you know uh cut pieces of fruits of uh yeah mostly fruits baby biscuits are something that they seem to enjoy as well it creates a whole lot of mess but remember you need to give into the mess they are learning they are developing let's talk about separation anxiety i had not noticed that the babies were getting clingier and clingier uh, there are plenty of times where i have to leave them home alone uh, with dad but of course you know that's a that's a very normal thing he's used to it it is absolutely part of our routine uh, but now on certain days where I have to quickly run out, let's say on a weekend and go run errands and I don't feel like taking everyone with me, you know, you'll just get it done quicker. Um, the, the babies cry. The babies are now kind of whining and notice when you uh, leave the front door through the front door. They notice when you go to the bedrooms and they're still in the lounge. They notice when you leave the room and it's, it's not just the, uh, that they do it for me. Oh, sorry. Forgot I'm wearing a mic. It's not just that they do it for me. They do it for dad as well. He could just be in the bathroom trying to relieve himself, trying to empty his bladder, but they'll, they'll literally like be so sad and whine a little bit <laughs> you know that yeah <laughs> it's not a real full-blown meltdown cry just yet but the toddlers uh, definitely are dealing with some separation anxiety i'm not too sure what we should do at this phase should i be saying goodbye hello will they understand will some of that calm them down my og moms um let me know I i'm not too sure what to do sometimes i just quickly uh, slip out through the door and you know just leave it at that sometimes i'll do hugs and kisses goodbye i don't know am i making the situation worse by drawing more attention by waving goodbye please comment down below and let me know how you've handled it the other thing is that now with the separation anxiety and being mobile means we can 
walk in the general direction that you are going to we can follow you now uh, whether it's crawling or walking uh, it's it's happening it's happening i am personally having such a difficult time and i think dad is also having a challenging time with nappy changes nappy changes for us used to be routine quick in out boom bam bam now we're being faced with so much resistance and so much strength coming from their little limbs that they are able to flip themselves over, try, crawl away, do all of that stunts and you are dealing with like a nappy explosion and you're not trying to get that poop everywhere. You're trying to clean up and make sure that this person is all right, you know? So the nappy changes are becoming quite frustrating that each and every one is a fight like i must fight i must hit you with some wwe moves ma'am sir in order for you to you know um <laughs> get your butt clean i am helping you i am doing this for you dear baby i wonder what it is if it's the uh attention span if it's everything just being so interesting in the room on the play mat they just always want to go 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 and i it feels like now we're interrupting them and stopping them from going 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 another uh, point in the 14th month developmental uh, milestones or update is that doctors are saying online that around this time you should be weaning your baby off of uh, the bottle and introducing a sippy cup at the same time weaning your child off of uh, breast milk or formula and onto cow's milk which i believe does have some economic benefits and uh, health benefits as well but we haven't dared to try and make that transition a little bit uh, nerve-wracking just considering how comfortable they are with their bottles now uh, drinking cow's milk we've had like one bottle here and there in a week um, but but they take to the bottle quite well um, the, the cow's milk rather so I'm, I'm not too sure how this transition is supposed to go. Do we just one day, no more bottles and it's just simply sippy cups? Considering that they like to hold their bottles upside down and it just makes a mess, I don't think I am mentally ready for that challenge. So I'd love to hear how um, your parents to older children manage to make that transition and what at what age did your little one transition from a bottle to a sippy cup. Okay, now I'll just give some general updates on what it is that the babies have, uh, have been up to. Certain things have just remained um, uh, routine in the way that we do things. So the babies are still sleeping so well, if I do so say myself. The babies are sleeping so well uh, throughout the night. It is not a challenge. If you haven't seen the video on where I discuss and give tips on how to sleep train your baby, whether you have a singleton or whether you have twins, I will link it up above in one of the cards as well as below in the description box. So open a new tab and just click over and save it so you can watch it right after this one to find out how we did it but yeah the babies are sleeping well bedtime is still anywhere between 5 30 and 6 o'clock 6 o'clock being the absolute cut off uh, they must go to bed and they will sleep all the way through the night until 6 a.m the next morning we usually hear them stir around 5 30 a.m uh, but if you give them some time they are able to settle themselves back down catch those extra few minutes that they were needing or something quite interesting that I've been seeing them do is they'll just sit quietly and kind of wait for us. So they'll either sit quietly, you know, looking at the ceiling, looking at the window, playing with their toys or their feet, their little teddy, the blanket, or they have like full blown conversations with each other until they can hear us. And then it's yeah, yeah, mama, nana, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's also ooh, one of the milestones speaking so we're getting into uh words quite a bit uh there's yaya yeah, yeah, that these are all terms for dad yaya yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, dada tete. then there's mom mom is nana <laughs> nana nene what else do they say it's just, but you can hear that they are forming the words, right? Taban can say no, no, 
nah um Tepiso is uh it's quite a cute thing that he has going on with his dad where they will name the colors of their toys they have these stackable color rings so they'll go blue purple orange yellow so you kind of you know can't say yellow but you should be noticing um some speech improvements the mimicking the bah you know waving clapping uh, little games inside of games that you guys have you should notice that and be proud of those moments because that means your child is developing well so back to what is still routine for us the babies are still eating soft poop poop poops foods <laughs> porridge oats uh pureed vegetables mashed up vegetables uh mukobu, sweet potatoes all of those and anything that has a meat i will try pureed or try make it as fine as uh, possible and yeah they're enjoying their fresh fruits as well so i'll cut them up into um little spears something that they are able to grab uh quite well let me give an example so let's say this oh, mm, let's say this is a piece of um nectarine watermelon whatever fruit you have available that does not have a membrane mango something that they won't you know um the me membrane or the skin won't irritate them or possibly be a choking hazard so i cut it into a length and width about this size right for my adults just used to scale imagine it that they that they are able to grasp it using their hands and chew on these bits uh, 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 like that and then eventually when the piece gets smaller because we've worked or they've developed um, a fine use of their pincher what is it the pincher mechanism pincher sensor pincher whatever but doing this picking things up like this that they will be able to eat so it's, it's it's been amazing to witness so they're enjoying their fruits enjoying eggs enjoying um soft foods we're going to ramp up the self-feeding just a little bit more um perhaps one of the methods we will try is me feeding or dad feeding the kids um a, a soft food or porridge or whatever but reduce the portion and make it half and then just serve them uh, a variety of fruits or mashed up peas something like that so that they can fill up right yeah am i making sense um, so two tips that I have to uh, parents of twins or a singleton who is reaching 14 months. But even if you're watching this in the very beginning of your pregnancy, this is such a wonderful time to make playtime engaging. So get down on the floor with your little ones. They're going to climb all over you, play peekaboo, crawl behind the couches. Playing on their level has been one of the best things that we've been able uh, to do as a family. And, you know, it, it just it, it, it promotes the bonding um, that's supposed to happen between uh, parents and children, between them as siblings as well. It just really, really makes the days even greater. Then the second tip is something that I touched on in the beginning of the video um, a reminder not to compare and I know it may be challenging if you are a twin parent or you know this is perhaps your your second child you may notice things and say oh but Tabi Soyana was teething uh, by the time he was six months why is a numbumelelo teething and she's uh, a whole uh, nine months you know try not to have those strict comparisons uh, but rather look at the ranges there are many resources online speak to your pediatrician as to what are the time frames right when do we expect uh, walking when do we expect uh, kitties to hold their own bottles when do we expect uh, speech to be you know a little bit more developed or sophisticated as far as babies go um, when should we uh, be standing on our own when should we be noticing that people are leaving the room all of these things are super important remember to rather look at ranges and not make comparisons 
uh, family members, friends will compare your child to their child, to other children. Um, but try not to let that get to you. Focus on your child. And if you have any concerns, rather pick up the phone, speak to your pediatrician. There are a multitude of experts here on YouTube, on the internet, you know, like certified uh, nursing practitioners and medical doctors and pediatricians who would be able to give you more detail about the growth of your child. So uh, don't feel so bad if you notice that uh, your little one isn't uh, walking yet. Your little one isn't and, you know doing certain things that you may see other kids doing it'll all come in their own time an example is uh Tepang started teething i think at four months and i was asking the doctor so um when do we start worrying and he said we'll only i think he said we'll only start worrying if Tepiso is not teething by a year and he got his teeth well before his first uh, birthday. So, you know, just talk to the experts and try not to compare. Enjoy this journey. We've got toddlers now. It is going to be an absolute ride. Thank you so much for getting this far in this video. It means you are a true one and you enjoy being here. Do watch uh, more videos. I'm not too sure if we'll place them here or over here. Down below in the description box will also be a list of suggested videos that you can watch. Thank you so much. Don't forget to share this, like, comment and subscribe.